Hi guys, what's up? This is Shukesh Puniq once again. On my left hand side, I have the all new Motorola Moto J3rd generation 2015 model and on my right, I have the highly popular iPhone 6. In this video, I'll be doing a quick speed test and I know these two phones are totally different, especially the price tag of the Moto J3 is around one fourth the price of the iPhone 6 here. Well, what I'm trying to check is whether the stock Android interface on the Motorola device can compete with the iOS on the iPhone 6, which is known to be super fast even after months of uses. Because the software, the interface, the applications are fine-tuned and specifically developed for this iPhone, there is no hardware and software clash whereas Android is supposed to work on any device. App developers have to ensure perfect compatibility of their apps and games for all the devices from all manufacturers which is almost impossible so as a result there is lag or shuttery experience on almost all the Android devices most of the time. Now interestingly I have already uploaded a speed test in between these two phones on my channel and in that video Moto G3 actually beats the iPhone 6 in almost all the departments. Now in that video I have actually disabled the animation scale on the Moto G3 but I didn't do that on the iOS device here. So some of you were quite furious and requested me to do the test again. The reason I didn't do that is if you reduce motion on the iPhone 6 from the accessibility settings, the animations are actually replaced by crossfade which doesn't speed up the interface at all. Still I am repeating the speed test with and without the animations. So let's get it started. As you know the spec sheet of the Moto G3 looks better than that this iPhone 6 here but what matters is the ultimate user experience and because of the fine tuning the iPhone 6 is buttery smooth and lag free. Now first of all I'll do a boot test. Let's switch off both these devices and iPhone 6 is already off. The Moto G3 is taking some time so this is the beauty of iOS. Now I will switch on both of these devices and check how much time these two phones take. Well Moto G3 started around 2 seconds later. As you can see guys the iPhone is ready and the Motorola phone is still booting. It's now ready so though it started slightly late the actual booting time is significantly shorter on the iPhone 6. Well as I mentioned before I'll do the speed test twice. At first I'll keep these two phones as it is. Let's first clear all the running applications in the background. Now I'll clear the cache the temporary files on both the phones to get the maximum output. Well, I think the phones are ready. First of all, I'll check the system applications and let's get started with the dialer. Well, I think the iPhone 6 was slightly faster because there are lots of things happening on the Moto G3 and the iPhone 6 is almost instantaneous looks like it's always ready. Next I'll check the contacts menu and you'll be amazed to see that the contacts list appears on the iOS device in no time whereas the Moto G3 takes some time. So in this department the iPhone 6 is the clear winner. Next let's check the messaging app. I think this time Moto G3 beats the iPhone 6. Now I will check the cameras. Well I think both the cameras started at the same time. I will check this again. This is definitely a draw. So it's great to see a 13,000 rupees phone putting up a great fight against the 50,000 rupees iPhone 6. Next let's check the gallery. Well Moto G3 is the clear winner once again. 
So it's no denying fact the all new Moto G 2015 is a super fast device. Let's try this again to be 100% sure. Clearly Moto G 3 is faster. Guys I will now check some games and in this department you will see that the iPhone is much faster. There is almost no time taken by the iPhone 6 and you must have noticed the blank screen on the Moto G3. Before the game starts it has to ensure proper compatibility of the display resolution, the graphics etc. So there is a delay. The gameplay on the Moto G3 is of course not bad at all. Let's try another game. Again there is a blank screen on the Moto G3. So the iPhone 6 here beats the Moto G3 in the gaming department. As I mentioned before, the spec sheet of the Moto G3 looks better than its competitor here. You have got 1.4 GHz quad-core Cortex-A53 processor on the Moto G3 whereas iPhone 6 packs a dual-core processor of 1.4 GHz and it's a Cyclone processor which is a premium one and uh, the RAM on the iPhone 6 is only 1 gig, just the half of the 2 gig RAM on the Moto G3 here. But that doesn't mean the iPhone 6 is a slower or inferior device. In fact, the top graded CPU, GPU and the perfect combination of the hardware and the software enables this device to score almost 3 to 4 times better than this Moto G3 here in the benchmark. But still the Motorola device here is not far behind this iPhone 6. In fact, in few departments this G3 actually beats this iPhone. So kudos to Motorola. Next, let's do a speed test to check the Wi-Fi connection. Well, I got good speed on the iPhone 6. Let's try the Moto G3. Well, I don't know why, but I got slightly lower upload speed. Previously, I got much better. So overall, in the downloading and upload speed, I'll say both the devices are equally good. I want to mention here the Motorola device is connected in the 2.4 GHz band because it's a single band device whereas iPhone 6 is using the faster 5 GHz band. Next I'll try the Flipkart app. Obviously these two apps are developed differently and the iPhone 6 loads the app much faster. So the Motorola Moto G 2015 model excels in the system applications whereas the iPhone 6 is unbeatable in the third party applications compatibility. Last but not the least, let's compare Siri on the iPhone 6 and Google Now on the Moto G3. What's the weather outside? It's Thursday, with today, and August 27, 2015. Well, Google Now started slightly faster, though it's a draw, I think. Let's try again. Who is the president of India? Pranav Mukherjee is the Let president of India. Well, Google now was blazing fast and Siri is still checking. The answer is Pranav Mukherjee. Overall, I'll say Google now beats Siri black and blue. Now I will do the speed test once again with the developer options on and the transition, the animation scales disabled. Now the Moto G3 is supposed to respond faster. Let's reduce the motion on the iPhone 6 as well. This is the option you should check. The animations are now replaced with crossfades. Apple included this feature into this iPhone because lots of users were complaining having motion sickness or nausea because of the animations and the parallax effect on the home screen as well as on the dynamic wallpapers. Well guys, as you can see, after disabling the animation scale, Moto J3's dial pad responded faster. Next, let's try the messaging app. Once again, Moto G is significantly faster. Now I'll check the camera as well. I think it's a draw just like before. After disabling the animation scales on the developer options, the Motorola Moto G 3rd generation has become blazing fast. Put the cameras triggered almost at the same time just like before so it's a draw next i'll try the gallery once again and moto g 2015 excels once again 
So I can definitely say this lower mid-range Moto G beats the high-end iPhone 6 in the speed test except for the gaming which is a pain for this Android phone. Apart from that overall user experience on the Moto G will be faster and the purpose of this speed test is actually measure the user experience the overall time these phones take to respond to user commands so in this department Moto G is the clear winner. But as I mentioned before in the gaming or in the benchmarks the iPhone 6 is actually several times more powerful than this Moto G3. So it's quite shocking to see an Android device with only 13,000 rupees price tag defeating this iOS device which is one of the most popular and talked about smartphone in the world. So if you are considering getting this Moto G3 then go ahead, it's a super fast battery smooth device and the price tag is also very attractive. Well guys that's all in this speed test, check the channel for more interesting videos on this Moto G3 and this iPhone 6, check the description below for the links. Also you can subscribe to this channel for more handy videos like this. That's all for today, thanks a lot for watching, keep in touch and please don't forget to subscribe.